Welcome to the internet. Uh, <laughs> this is Janice Erlbaum talking about her second book, Have You Found Her? Uh, these are some questions that were sent in by the nonfiction book discussion group from Lyle, Illinois. Lyle, Illinois. It's, uh, I lived there for 10 years. It's a great place. Hell of a town. Hell of a town. Okay, getting right to it. Uh, the first question that Lyle, Illinois, sent in is, Janice, did you ever hear from Sam again? I did hear from Sam again. Um, a year and a half ago, around the holidays, it had been uh, five years since the events, and um, every once in a while I would still Google her, maybe once every six, six months under her real name, never found anything. Uh, and then, you know, I was thinking about it, and I thought, oh, well, what if I put her name on my blog, and then other people who are Googling her um, might find me, and we could, you know, trade information. And I, I was very curious. I really was very, very curious. Uh, so I put up a post, which I've since taken down, with a bunch of people's names on it, and I just said, I'm looking for these people. And um, within 24 hours, she herself had replied to me from um, a Gmail address that used her real name. Uh, so I, I, I thought, okay, this is legitimate. This isn't just you know somebody screwing with me. This is actually her writing to me. And she was like, yeah. So you know, you want to? What do you want? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I said, I want to know how you are. <laughs> I want you to know that I'm really sorry for my part in all of this. And I'm really sorry if the book was painful. Um, and I, I wanted to let her know that she was forgiven. But mostly, I wanted to know how she was. So she wrote me back, um, and she said that she had spent the year in rehab that I knew about, then she spent a year in a halfway house, um, and then she moved back to the Midwest to try and put things together with her family, which they had therapy together and stuff like that, and she enrolled in college and is now basically, she's been healthy and honest since I last saw her. So this could totally be a pack of lies. But um, again, you know, she used her real name. I, I looked up her IP address to see if she was really in the town that she said she was in. And um, if she's lying about being healthy, that's better than lying about being sick. So um, that was it. She said, you know, if you want to stay in touch, that'd be great. And I did not want to stay in touch. I just really wanted to know how she was. So she's, she's okay. All right. You have enough people in the uh, immediate area that are damaging your quality of life. You don't need to export anything. No, else. yeah, yeah. Good, no, I agree with you there. Okay, moving on. Our next question is, Giannis, did you ever go back to volunteering at the shelter? I did go back to volunteering at the shelter. Why, yes, I did. I volunteered there for uh, probably six more months before I realized that I was burning out and um, that it was probably stupid of me to be at the same place where I had been as a teenager, that it really, like, I went back because I didn't want her to have robbed me of that. You know, I didn't, I didn't not that she robbed me of anything, but at the time I felt like it was really important for me not to let that stop me. <laughs> a big flashing sign that says, don't go there. It's like, I'm not gonna let that stop me. Um, so I, I volunteered there until I burned out and then I um, was volunteering at GEMS, as you know, Girls Education Mentoring Services. What's that website? Uh, that is <laughs> gems-girls.org. It's a great organization. Great organization. I absolutely endorse you looking into it. Yes, um, and they help uh, young women who have been commercially sexually exploited. And I was there for about a year uh, doing a, um, a writing workshop. And then again, I started to feel like, okay, I am burning out. Um, and I, all, I just admire people who stay in social work so much. Uh, you know what else I should mention is that I am still in touch with Maria from Heavy found her and she just had a baby three months ago and she could not be happier and she's like doing really really well Yay, so, yeah, babies. Babies. <laughs> Woo. yeah. okay uh our next question uh transitioning <laughs> on to more wonderful discussion yeah 
do you still make annual trips to Disneyland with Bill? World. World, people. It's, it's World. Disney World. We, we don't go to Disneyland. Disneyland, I'm sure, is a lovely place all the way over there in California. We go Here's to Disney Anaheim. World Here's Orlando. in Orlando where they have the Epcot and they have the studios and they have the, all, all the fun and binge eating that you could imagine. So, yes, we do try and go down um, when we can, once a year, oh, if possible. Oh, I love binge eating. <laughs> so good. Okay. Our next question. And how is Bill, by the way? I'm assuming that was part of the end of a, a larger sentence, but this is how it came up. Okay. And how is Bill, by the way? Oh, you don't really need to answer this, but a few people mentioned they were curious to know. So we don't really need to answer that. Those are very wise people. Uh, apparently those people... How are you? Those people... I'm, I'm great. Uh, I still have long, lean runner's legs, as described in the book. Um, I'm okay. Uh, you know, I, I came out of that year without a book because I wasn't necessarily in the uh, immediate blast area. Um, but what happened that year was very bizarre because... <laughs> no kidding. Um... <laughs> You know, she had insinuated herself into our household, kind of like uh, Six Degrees of Separation style, except she was uh, pretending to be a version of herself and not so much somebody else. So she was yeah. an honest, honest, genuine person, and she was an opsimath, um, a real wild intellect, yeah. and somebody who actually was very unbrazenly honest and herself. That's the, that's the ironic thing. This kid was herself. She was being a sick person, but we saw sort of this... Her energy, the yeah. energy was right. genuine. Her creativity, her imagination, yes. yeah. uh, her, her brilliance, all, all that, that stuff, stuff was hers. Yeah. Right, well, you know, we, that famous story when we went into uh, we went to Coney Island with That her. famous story that uh, they yes. tell around the campfires. The old soul. Yes, yeah. Um, that was honest. That happened that day. That, yeah, that, that was, was great. That was part of us kind of like mentally adopting her as our uh, Robin, our, our teenage yeah. ward. Our teenage ward. To fight crime with. Um, so the thing is that, you know, it... it uh, it didn't hurt me as much because I didn't have as much invested, but it was more of like, wow, what the hell just happened? You know, it was a real... <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> a boxing glove a bit on, a, on an accordion arm that came out of a present that had just been wrapped. It was, it was really... It Surprise. Was big time. <laughs> Surprise, exactly. Uh, okay, next question. Back to me, I hope. Right. The camera's back where it belongs. <laughs> next question. Looking back, now that it's been several years, do you have any additional thoughts on what happened with Sam? <clears throat> um, as I said to Sam... I think additionally that uh, I screwed up really badly, really badly, um, that I am really glad that she didn't die. Um, and I, I also, I feel like I see Munchausen's much more and much more clearly. And, and that there's a lot of factitious disorder out there. And actually when I speak to groups, a lot of the time somebody raises their hand, they're like, oh yeah, there was this woman in my office and she shaved her head or whatever. People are really like doing this. Um, so that's, some, that's another thought that I have. And I also, uh, last year, just last calendar year, um, tried to do it again. I tried to mentor uh, a very unhappy young person who had had an unfortunate upbringing um, it, she, would, she did not have Munchausen, but the relationship, again, um, didn't pan out as I'd hoped. So um, if I had further thoughts, I obviously ignored them because I basically tried to do the same stupid thing again. I remember that anecdote from real life. <laughs> Maybe that'll be another story someday. Okay, and last bullet point, uh, <clears throat> Janice Erlbaum. What are you up to now, and are you writing another book? I... I am sitting on a couch right now. I am, I am uh, writing another book. You can't see your hands. You could be <laughs> writing them. I, that's true. I'm, I'm, I am writing another book. I've written actually several other books, uh, only one of which I've tried to get published, and it was rejected. So I've been a little bit gun shy since then, but I continue to write. Um, I will probably e publish when something is done just because, ugh. Put you it know? in front of it, yes. Commercial publishing. <laughs> I'm going to eye publish. Non-traditional media. No, no, but just commercial publishing is, is a real um, drag, and uh, you get screwed around, and you have to wait a really long time, and they can change your title, and they can change your cover, and they can and they bury your everyone. book. and they, they don't reject everyone, but they rejected um, 
the book that I was writing, and uh, I, I continue to write. So that's what we're up to. We go to Disney World. We um, try to stop me from making horrible personal choices. That fills a day up. Really, really, pretty much. There's, from, yeah. there's 11 hours right you there. You fit in a, a half a grapefruit in the jumble. That's a day right there, you know. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much for asking and taking this interest. And um, I hope we didn't bore you to death yeah. in the process of answering it. Thank you very much. We'd like to acknowledge uh, Jen Ozark, who was the person who submitted this. Coordinator. The, thank you, Jen. Coordinator from the... Uh, oh, I also want to thank the person who said that I kept mentioning eyes in the book. That was a very astute observation that I did not make. <laughs> Bonus cat action. Um, and uh, I think that I was, I was just kind of like getting into hackery there, and I was just over-relying on certain metaphors. So I, I'm actually very grateful for that uh, bit, of, bit of feedback. I love hackery. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, that's it. I guess that's it. The end. This has been In Our Living Room. I've been Janice, and this is Bill. <laughs>